before I signed, I knew that we would have the opportunity as a class to be able to do something special. So for it to actually be us and the group of guys that I, we were able to do it with definitely means a lot. It's really tested uh, who I am as a person from some of the things that I've seen, the changes I've gone through and the struggles I've seen to the accomplishments that I've gone to. And it's really made me into a better person and a, a better athlete and a better student. We faced a lot of adversity and we had to overcome a lot. So, you know, just going through all the roadblocks and things like that, making yourself a better player, a better person at the end of the day. That's what being a little boy is. When, now that I'm here and I can see the end and I think back on everything I've been through, you know, it's, it's a great feeling, especially the guys, the seniors that I've been with since Coach Long. You know, like I feel a lot closer to those guys too because they've been, we've been through thick and thin together and everything. I just say this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade for nothing in the world. I wouldn't make another decision at all. Knowing the people that I know now and the things that I've learned, I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. When uh, Coach Davey first came in, he talked about building a brand. And once you build the brand, you got to protect the brand. And, and, and I feel like you have to be the brand. So the brand in itself, building the brand in itself is just the foundation. And we, we would like to think that, that we've started a foundation or we're starting a foundation here so that, that those that come after us can just build on it and build on it and build on it to sky high. I mean, the sky's the limit. So we feel like we, we're setting a foundation now and, that, and that's what the legacy is. Um, family, I think Ben Lobo is family because I honestly can, I honestly can say this is the only place where I felt that it's a family as far as teammates and you know, I'm grateful for these guys. Uh, I believe I'm blessed. And you know, these these guys keep a guy like me going, you know. Through the thick and thin, these guys have been awesome and I really I love and appreciate my teammates. It it takes it takes a great deal of patience. You can't come in here and like, oh I'm gonna play, I'm gonna do this, we're gonna be the best team and things like that. Um ever since I've been here, you know, we're still been trying to build every year, every year and this year I, I can finally see the improvements. Unfortunately I won't be here next year for the, you know, even more improvements, but I feel next year will be a great season for the Lobos. Uh, the team camaraderie, uh, being on the field, in the huddle, I think, um, I think one of my best memories is gonna be running into the huddle uh, and just giving the guys a play, so I think that's gonna be one of the, best, the biggest things I'm gonna miss. We look at all our players, it doesn't matter like, how highly we guard you are coming out of high school. When you come here, respect to the word just like everybody else and earn your right to go out on that field and play. It's, it's been a blessing. I mean, uh, we had some rough years, but this year really, maybe it turned me into more of a man than I've ever I could possibly imagine. Uh, I had to face a ton of adversity, and then we collectively just grew more and more as a team and got a new coaching staff. And it's been a real blessing to have guys like, you know, around me, Joe Stutter, Dylan Farrell, Ben Scare, all those guys, they're all good. Love them to death. And it's just an absolute blessing. Yeah, I'm very proud of uh, our success we've had this year. Um, the last three years have been very difficult. Uh, as for the wideouts, uh, we've gone through uh, a, co a new coach every year, and it's been tough on us. But uh, I'm really happy about this new coaching staff and Coach Davey, and I'm so excited about all the younger kids and all the true freshmen that are coming in and playing. We're going to have four years with the best coach I've had so far. So I'm excited just to see them come back and just see how the Lobos are doing. I mean, it's always a dream, so it's nice that at least I've realized it, like finally lived it, you know. So I've been working real hard to get here, and I finally made it. So I mean, that's a benefit in itself, I guess. Being in love with me is being able to kind of shine through when times get rough. You got to realize that we can't stop and just give up hope, and we always got to keep pushing, work harder. Going out there, wearing that jersey, being a Lobo, it means a lot to me. Um, it means you have to be, have to be tough, you know, hardworking, strong-minded, accountable. Uh, I take great pride in it, being a local kid. I've grown up here, came here watching kids with my dad, my brother, and my uncles and stuff growing up. So when I'm out there actually on the field now. I take great pride, and it's an achievement. No one thought. No one thought we were going to do good, and the doubters are are starting to, to believe now. And the community 
is starting to show up at the games and the games are starting to fill out. And it's, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling just to see them there. A lot of us had uh, some sort of chip on our shoulder and I think that we, it helped us to work even harder to try to turn this program around and, and, it, and out there doing good gives us a sense of pride and I think that kids notice that and want to be a part of something like that and I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of it any way I can. I mean, I'm a kicker so I try to give my all all the time. So I got to watch all of the guys like Zach, Frankie, Travis. I got to watch a lot of those guys go through and basically it's a blue collar. Like you work as hard as you can, as fast as you can, as long as you can and don't worry about nothing. It's meant everything to me. It's given me a, a great opportunity to learn a lot about myself, you know, growing up as a as a young man and getting ready for, for the rest of my life. It's taught me to be being logo has taught me to be tough. It's taught me to fight through adversity, you know, obviously what was what what went on here and uh, definitely looking forward to the rest of my life, but I'm gonna I'm gonna miss this. We know that we were the stepping stone. We, we, we helped start something. So when we come back three and four years from now and, and they have back-to-back -back Mountain West Conference Championship, like we know that you know, we were a part of that. We, we, we sacrificed a lot uh, with the new head coaches and, and new defenses and, and, and new offensive coordinators and stuff like that. We know we sacrificed a lot to help get this thing started. And that's some, that's some of the things that we take pride in. This senior, this senior group of guys take pride in a lot of that. I mean, you, I can go down the list of guys that that's made big sacrifices with their positions and, and made big changes that they didn't necessarily have to make, but they made for the better of this team. Being a Lobo just means that you're tough, you're fearless, and you know, as Coach Davey says, a maniacal effort in everything, on the field and off the field, you know. A pack of wolves just devouring your prey. There's nothing that means more. I mean been through five years of hard, tough, ups and downs, but I mean, there's nothing means more than putting that jersey on. Seeing the, the program from that point, uh, going all the way down to where I've been through and coming back to the top, I mean, it means a whole lot to me, especially being, being the beginning of, a, of a, a start to getting this program back up on top.